Welcome Morris. Today I'll be comparing a genuine Omega Clasp against uh, a generic copy that you can find online. Now the Omega Deployant, straight off the bat, you can see that it's brushed with polished accents and the generic one, um, it's pretty much all polished. Uh, the Omega has some branding there, whereas the generic is plain with no branding. Now the Omega also comes with some branding on the back and the generic one, the copy has none. Now you can clearly see that um, they were inspired by the Omega clasp because they do look kind of similar, but they are very, very different in their build and quality. Now some visual differences, you can see that the Omega one kind of comes to like a point, a tip, and the generic one is just curved. The buttons, or the pushes are also larger on the Omega, whereas on the copy, they are much smaller. And they're also, well on my one, imbalanced. And what I mean by that is one of the pushes are bigger than the other. And you can also see the imperfections on the copy. Let's take a closer look at them. So if you see there, you can see some imperfections. There's some chipping here. You see that it's rough. Bit rough here. And you can also see, if I show you, the pin that goes through the strap hole. Look at that. It's not perfectly straight on the generic copy. Whereas on the Omega, it's nice and straight there. See how that's a little bent? And if you see on the catch where it keeps the strap in place on the Omega, it's uh, nice and even. Whereas on the generic copy, it's not even at all. This side is uh, bent upwards a bit more. So there's a, quite a few imperfections on the uh, generic one, but do keep in mind, um, the generic one is much, much more affordable, but you know what they say, you do get what you pay for. Now on the Omega, if we take a closer look, it's built way better. And I mean, you, you'd expect it to be because it is, <laughs> it is a lot more, it does cost a lot more. So as you can see there, everything lines up nicely, everything's balanced, they're the same size, everything lines up perfectly, this is the copy here. Now the Omega does state that it's stainless steel there, whereas the copy doesn't. So I'm not I'm not 100% sure if this is stainless steel, but uh, yeah, that's something to keep in mind there. Now let's see. Here's how it um, deploys. So if you have a look. You just push these in and it can release. Same thing on this one. Push it in and it will release. Now one thing to notice, if you look at the, uh, the way they catch, they have these little notches here where they catch 
to hold them in place. Now on the Omega, they're much uh, longer, more prominent. And what I found is on the generic copy, uh, there were times where this would um, come undone by itself. So uh, yeah, that's also something to uh, keep in mind. Now also on the copy, there's quite a lot of play. Okay, there's a lot of play. Whereas on the Omega, it's uh, nice and stable in there. Another thing to note is the way they deploy. So on the copy, sometimes it'll kind of get caught. See here how this side will come down while this one tends to stay. Yeah, so sometimes it will get caught and you might have to uh, push it a few times to get it to deploy. See like right there. Yeah, so as on the Omega, pretty much deploys every single time. Here's a quick test for you guys. Let me just undo them. So here's the look at the Omega, and here's the fake. side profile of them both. The Omega has a nice smooth profile whereas the copy goes straight and then a really dramatic curve downwards. So those are the differences there. Let's look again, so you guys can see the differences. Yeah, see, it just got caught again. <laughs> Here we are, guys. You can see the differences in there. Finishing the Omega is much more refined, but it is much more expensive. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you liked it, um, consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video.